clock says just about six o'clock. It's Thursday, August 15th. Um, welcome everyone. I'm going to call the select board meeting to order. First item is set, adjust <coughs> agenda. I have one small thing if Tanya, are we good to add, uh, approve a liquor license for Cabot? No. Uh, I thought we did. You did, but they had the wrong business name. It's not Cabot, it's Agrimark Inc. Well, the state denied them. Wow. Yeah. Because of the name? Yeah, apparently their name was actually a, a registered business in that they have, but they... Whatever. We don't know why. So, wait, okay, it's so... Class what? <clears throat> class two. Which is... Liquor. I might end up doing that oh. place after all. <laughs> uh, so that's an item eight. Anything else? There won't be a harvest collector before. You mean no two? Oh. Sorry, no harvest collector. Oh, we need two. No, we're going to make it two, not eight, though. I thought she could leave item two. Yes, that's what yeah. I meant. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I like <laughs> item eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Okay. Um, and no Harvard Electric report? Correct. Got uh, it. Motion to approve amended agenda. No road farming report. Second. Uh, all in favor of approving the agenda as amended, please say aye. 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 Sorry. Okay, that's everyone. I was reading. I know. Reading. Um, all right, so next up is communication from the audience. Anyone here to dis discuss or present anything that's not on our agenda tonight? All right, then we're going to roll forward to the town manager report. Okay, I'll uh, make this quick. What's up? The minutes? The minutes. Sorry, I missed the minutes. Motion to approve the minutes is presented. Second. Move two. Uh, I thought they looked good too, so all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh, that was all of us. Motion carries. Thank you. Next. <laughs> we all participate. It's not very many. <laughs> um, so I always say that I'm going to make it quick, but it always ends up being really long. So um, Winterset's going to start work on the bridge on Riverside Farm on Monday. They're going to start mobilizing. Oh, tomorrow. Riverside. Yep, yep, yep. And um, wow. yeah, so they're excited about that. They'll get that done in a couple weeks, so that bridge will be all set. Awesome. Um, there's some additional items that we discussed upstream today uh, to, be, to help uh, protect that bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the river bank on the upstream side of about one, which is the one on the farm side, mm -hmm. um, we gotta, we got to look at that because if we get more rushing water there, it's going to really, it could wreak havoc on that. So I mean, it took a look, I agree. We need to protect our investment. So there might be an added cost to bank armoring there. i got to have those mm -hmm. conversations, but we also might be able to do it. Great. So. Well, at minimum, we will have our own bank armoring material exactly. by then. Yeah. I'm getting to that. I know, I'm excited about it. Thunder. God. Hey, um, so, gravel pit, we're going to be blasting on Monday, or drilling. Starting to drill on Monday and Wednesday. Really? So we're going to have five to six thousand yards of bank of, of, of rock that we'll be able to use for bank armor and, and more. Um, and that's just the beginning. Great. So, yep. So, um, so we've hired someone to drill and blast. Main drill and blasting. Yep. Yep. And sorry. And we're preparing the site up there. Yeah. Um, what about crushing? Crushing is supposed to happen at the end last week in August. Crushing of the Let's ledge. Of, of, no, crushing of gravel. Gravel. What about ledge? We gotta work. We're, we're, we're gonna, gonna talk when the crusher comes in. As soon as the stuff is on the ground, we're gonna we have to start sorting. I got it and then like ten thousand yards put up to a bank on gravel to. Yeah. Has to go through the. So there's a lot going on up there. We're also processing winter sand. Winter sand stuff. Right. Too. Great. Yeah. That's all good stuff. Yeah. Um, I got, uh, so the lead service inventory. Oh, that, for the water lines. Yes. Yep. Uh, we contracted with All Rich and Elliot, and we put a mailer out with our last bill. We did. We are not 
All Rich and Elliot, um, the people we paid to do this inventory, <coughs> they're not getting responses. So people need to respond to that flyer with their material of their water line coming in. Or in September, we have to go door to door and the price is going to increase. So we have to pay so, them more if they have to go door to door. So we need to do a better job of making sure people understand the survey because I didn't know about it. We put Did a you? colored yeah. mailer. Sorry, yes. Right, but I don't. Front and back in. Right, but I still don't. So look I, at those things. I got it. I set it aside. And right, we need to do a better job. Trial. I'll work on public messaging. Yes. Um, well, or just putting it on the web page. We can do that too, but. I look at amount due, the rest. So I, I'm sure I'm not the only person. Right, it was a whole other piece of paper. Yeah, I mean, absolutely maybe. looked at the amount due and threw the rest away. Because okay. <laughs> so otherwise I would have filled yeah. it out. Yeah, so we'll, yeah. we'll do yeah. better messaging, but I thought tonight it would be good to get it out there yeah. for all those that watch the meeting. But I'm sure everyone that watches the meeting, meeting probably, opened there. probably took care of it because they're responsible oh my God. individuals <laughs> so that pay attention to town government. So when do we love the themselves? They love themselves. So when doing the messaging, it, I think it, it'd be important to say what you just said about um, that it's going to cost us more yeah. if we don't yeah. do our. I might, just, be, do our I might our. just said that. It might not be entirely true because we have a contract price for that. But um, it's going to cost somebody more. Yeah, it's yeah. more work, unnecessary it's work. More unnecessary. Right, work. we have other things to. Yes, they could be spending time designing our new wastewater plant. Yes, we don't need to do our work. There are um, any number of things. So I got a letter today that went out to everybody on the Vermont Emergency Management Listserv that um, permanent work funding has been um, will not be released by FEMA until the funding issue has been resolved in Washington. What's the funding issue in Washington? That the they election. Have, they have to fund the disaster fund. It's getting too low. So. Oh. Um, that kind of puts us in a, a tough spot because we have uh, we we've been authorized to do the work on the wall, um, the project. We have kind of everything in place. The wall. The wall. Oh, the on Main Street. On Main Street. The retaining wall on Main Street. Um, but if we're not going to get paid for permanent work, we're going to have to. We we know we're going to have to borrow money to do that work. That was like. Four something, right? it's or something. It's 2.4 million. Just for that. Yeah. So um, I'm just kind of looking for a little guidance on. I really don't want to borrow money for that that much money for. But well, we while. need to wait a little while. We got to play it out a little while. Yeah. We don't, we're not in a position to borrow that kind of money, really. Right. Well, we could, but we don't want to borrow it if we don't know what's going to Reimbursements coming. So how much? Yeah. I mean, what's the we should talk. This should be a more in-depth conversation. I'm just planting the seed right, right now. Because so, I got a bunch of questions. I just got this information. Right. For yeah. the next meeting, like, what's what, what's the risk versus... Well, I, I'm hoping by October they're going to have a better idea. But we have permits to work in the river until October. So, uh, and we have a willing contractor. Yeah, but I... Yeah. I, this... I, this uh, Right. Rushed, so it's it's rushed. Rushed. otherwise it has to wait all winter. Well, it's going I mean, it's that critical? It's, it can't wait it's, this winter? It's, just, it's as critical as all the other pieces on the right. main street. Oh, yeah. How compromised is that wall? It's... Two point I'm not an engineer. Worth the oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not an engineer. Yeah. yeah. I mean... It's got, it's got a little more cracking in it than it used to have. Sure, but if it falls into the river, that's going to be Yeah, but it's a long ways but it's a long way from falling in the river. I'm confident of that. And I'm not I I mean we need to take a serious look at the risk yeah. that's there. That's what matters. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't see it. There's gonna be more information. We also don't have a disaster declaration for this last year's storm yet. Even for the emergency work. Correct. Of the July correct eleventh. Correct twenty four. Yeah. Which is we we've done a substantial amount of emergency work. Not as much budget. as we did last year. But no, but we spent. Yeah, yeah. That we're already on the hook for no matter what. And we know we're going to be spending about one hundred sixty thousand on the bridge on Riverside Farm. Like mm -hmm. that work's happening. That's this and that's year's permanent. Work. That's this year. That's emergency work. Yeah. 
But it's permanent emergency. It's not a permanent fix. No, it just puts it back the way it was, but it should be a lasting fix. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. But we're, we're good. we have to pay for that up front because there's no declaration anyway. We have to pay for everything. Right. Right, but there's no back, there's no declaration for that, so. Correct. There's no reason for us to think that we're going to get anything at this point. Correct. Because it's been too long for the, nobody's spoken a word about it anywhere. Um, they, the state says it's coming. Mm -hmm. hmm. So I'm just letting you know that this is the, the, the juggling act that I'm faced with. Uh, that, that our office is faced with on a daily basis as to where where the best place to, to start with some of this, these repairs. Yeah, which holds stick your finger in the dam. Right, yeah. And that's a good segue into my next item. Um, there's been a significant amount of conversation being had right now about a, a comprehensive study of the Jackson Dam by the natural, the Caledonia County Natural Resource Conservation District. And there's money to do the study. Um, I did ask uh, Scott Johnstone of AGD if he thought that it'd be a good idea to get some information. Um, he said that he thought it was a good idea. I talked to the Conservation Commission today. Uh, they said it would be a good idea. So I'd like to get your, um, your nod of approval to move forward with um, getting information about the dam and the lake. Because that's a big piece of the puzzle. It is, but it's on the other side of the Black Bridge and the Lamar Valley Dyke. Yeah. Lamar Valley Dam. Right. So. So does that play that, into it? That, will that help it? Will that will it, that play into that? It, into yes. the study? Yeah. Well, I mean, it needs no, to, right? The witch. Well, Black the Bridge and Lamar Valley Dale yeah, It trail. plays into everything upstream. Uh, pretty yeah, much I say I say yes. But pretty much yeah. in the hottest street bridge. I mean, it needs to be looked at. There's, yeah. there's no harm in more information. Correct. I mean, so yeah, with thought. the thought, of, we're talking about taking the dam out is we're that potentially. I did about not say that. Value no, but I mean, that's what, yeah. Well, so ultimately, we might get information back that might I, I don't, cause I'm us to do pro, something. I'm not pro or against that small dam that is making a big difference. It's, uh, yeah. I could be I'm, great. Would, would this tell us what impact that dam is having on our... Potentially. Potentially. Mm -hmm. I'm not or, is it, or is it more like, <laughs> no, but I mean, are they, are they doing that more? Or are they do, just looking at the condition of the dam? No, I think they're looking at the entire. Kristen wants to chime in. Okay. You can't. They're going to be looking at the, ge the, the geomorphic. It's the same thing they did before. They're going to be looking at all different aspects, and they'll be um, making an assessment of how it will impact us in our floodplain and our floods. Then we so. definitely want to know that. Yes, yes. please. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Check. That concludes my report. Wait a minute. So, Fine job. I'm also I'm also going to ask um, one of the things that uh, I'm going to try to um, get done if we do decide to go forward with the wall is have them remove the bridge, demo the bridge, mm -hmm. the pedestrian bridge. Yes. Just because it's not helping anybody to have it there. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like uh, so. Another piece of that is is what the wall construction and the brick construction have to have to Match up. somewhere. Yeah. Well, the, the wall. There's not enough real estate there for them two projects no, not to the interfere wall with. Ends right before the bridge. Really. What we have gone out to bid with and what FEMA has approved. There's a red line in the plan. FEMA bridge. So. The wall is kind of the pedestrian wall, bridge the, to the diner. The wall is a pedestrian bridge to the diner or from the pedestrian bridge back the other way? No, no. to the diner. Downstream to the pedestrian bridge. The part that has been... To the granite blocks. Right. Yeah. It just so happens that that was pulled into the design for yeah. the pedestrian bridge because we realize you're going to be in there working So what there. about the, the north of the pedestrian bridge walls. That needs to be looked at too. That's, but we don't have a plan. We don't have a plan for that. Well, I thought, honestly, I thought the wall excluded like from the end down to So you're talking 2.4 million for how many feet? Like 
Yeah. 50 feet of wall. Exactly. So it's a hard no for me. Okay. Yeah. That just changed. Yeah. And until there's a until and, there's a plan for so being so, in that river, we need to fix the whole wall from the whole thing. We're not going to leave agree. everybody else hanging out to dry and fix so the little park. What's wall? What's good about having to go out to bid? We got a, a, a number on the project, but we also have been having conversations with the construction, the general contractor, and he says that we could do a considerable amount, a considerable amount of value engineering. And that the micro piles that, that that engineering ventures has called out are very very expensive, and he questions if we need the micro piles. Oh, I do as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't For know if sure. we want to have that re-engineered, do a design build bid. I don't know. There's just this is this is a lot of another big project. Yeah. So, anyways, let's move on. And we still have problems on Wait, all the way upstream. I have, I have two yeah. questions yeah, go ahead. on two bridges. Yeah. So Fisher Folly and Harsh Farms. Fisher Folly is done. Great. Yep. Fisher Folly is set yep. on Be makeshift right. abutments in a makeshift location with a temporary bridge. Yeah. So it's the, the, the temporary work is complete. They're, they're able to get in and out. Yes. Very temporary. But the, it should be noted that it's, it's extremely temporary. It's not the same as the Riverside Bridge where it's, the abutments are still there. Right, which is going to be a temporary fix that we're going to be able to live with for a couple of minutes if we need to. Yeah. Or long. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Or so until the deck then, rots. Uh, right. Harvey Farms? It's open. It's open. Right. Nice. That's good. Yep. And we, um, Tyler Mumley's going to start engineering on that. Hopefully have a product to go out to bid for in the spring. Right. Yep. But there's no funding. Well, we don't know about funding. Correct. We just learned that it's a Correct. Little... But by the spring, we should know. Hopefully by October, we should know. October, because that's when the federal government is supposed to pass their budget. Correct. But they don't seem to actually pass it anymore. Well, nothing is going smoothly that way. Right? No. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. You can only hold that breath. Okay. Yeah. So long. That was pretty short. So, I just have one long-hanging fruit question. Yeah. Um, so we have the other creamery road sign. Is there some reason why we have to put it up? We have another sign? We have another sign. Or are we talking about road sign? Yeah, a road sign we that identifies the road on the other side. That's not up. Okay. We own it, but we don't have it up. Okay. Is there some reason why we're going to have it up? Uh, time in a day. Yeah, a while. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we can get it up. Okay. It's your job to tell Tom to prioritize that. Just yeah, keep sure. asking. I yeah. just keep asking because it's still over there, not marked. Across from the health center where people are parking and they should be Yeah, we moved stuff. the piece P up here so people could park. I don't know if it's still a problem at the health center, but they call me when there's a problem. I yeah, well, so road sign, it's not up. Got it. We'll put it up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move us on um, to Harvard Police Department report. A whole lot. Uh, but I think we're having to make a change because uh, with restraining orders, it was each county had a person that was uh, designated to pull out of restraining orders. Now they've decided to buy that up in uh, different police departments, so it's going to be scattered all around. Now Harvard PD has to come up with a way to take the lunch from this area. So we're working on that right now. Uh, can you explain a little more? It, so yeah, previously so it was... Previously, so uh, each county had a holding station. So for Loyal County, it was the Loyal County Sheriff's Department. They held on to all the restraining orders that were in effect. Uh, for Calhoun County, it was the same about the police department held on to all of them. Now they're divvying that up into different areas and we're selected to keep them from this area. What, what area? Uh, what well, area? Mainly Harbor Clay. It could be, it could be the surrounding towns as well. That's not so, going to happen. Well, we don't have a choice as well. Who who's mandating that? Yeah, who decides that? <coughs> who's mandating? It's. Uh, I have to check. It's who's mandating that. Yeah, we're not doing. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, there's there's also people from the surrounding towns that affects Hardwick, right. and those restraining orders are in effect here. But. Anyway. Yeah. That's so, a problem. It is a problem. We'll deal with it. We have to deal with it. We don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, so. This is like, and dealing with it is like a 
it's database just, sort of thing? It's filing the actual restraining orders. That are yeah. paper or electronic? Yeah, paper. The, but you have to do the work, like the people have to come. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to serve that too? No, 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 no. These could be served. Uh, right. Or it could be something, let's say we have a case that, uh, for example, we have a domestic case that came up here. We dealt with it, but people from Woodbury, we would own that. Uh, they filed restraining orders, we would own those restraining orders. They'd stay in our area. So there's a lot more moving parts to paper? It. the paper copies. So we hold on to them until they're which needs to go to court with a court case. So that actual paper document mm -hmm. has to be in a court case. But that so sent that to the court, the, the county court. So it's a lot more work for just it's it's a little bit more work, more filing for us. It was it was easier before when you had one one person doing it for the county and it's going to be divided up. State police has to take some of it as well. So it's not just going to be. Hmm. Does, it change, does it change who responds to violations of those? Okay. No, I mean, not at all. Okay. Just but, why isn't there just a statewide database? Because <laughs> that'd be easy. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Okay. Well, stop making yeah. sense there. All right, sorry. All right. What else is going on in your world? We're keeping our head above the water right now with the short staff, and that's, that's about it. Um, trying to keep things going. Um, like I said, we have uh, uh, one in the level three academy right now, uh, another one being uh, trained as a level two. Uh, we got uh, another one ready for the uh, part time academy, or for the level two academy in September. So it's um, just going to take a little longer to get people up in this. Excellent. All right. That's it. Are there questions for Mike? All right. Thank you. Um, all right. Item one: uh, Select board to approve a, a mailing a local ballot for justice of the peace to all active voters, accompanied by the general election ballot being mailed by the state. So, um, is this? Something that goes into the mailer? Or? No, so we can put the <clears throat> Justice of Peace nominees on the back side of the ballot for the general election. They will do that for us so that you go to the tabulator. But because the Secretary of State's office is mailing all ballots to registered voters this year, and this is a local election, we need your permission to mail the ballot with the JPs on it to all registered voters. No cost, the state's doing it, so no pound no cost, but. I think motion that uh, we mail a local ballot for death of the peace to all active voters accompanied by General Lester Second. Uh, more discussion? Um, do we have, in the past we've had a shortage of justice of the peace we have nine out of ten right now. We did have ten, but one moved, and going on the ballot will be at least ten. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. So all in favor of mailing that, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. So our new item two, um, also a Tanya item, is to approve a class two liquor license for Agrimar. Agrimar Inc. Which is for the Yellow Bar. Yep. And that would be for the sale of beer and wine. You guys approved it in June, but they had Cabot as the business name, not Active Marks of the State. So moved there. Second. <coughs> Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next is item three Select Board to consider allowing. Hardwick Downtown Partnership to do a coin drop in August 2025. The month is still available. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is item four Select Board consider appointing, um, oh, I'm sorry, is it Gillian or Jillian? It's Gillian. Gillian Deterno. It's too hard. Thank you. As an alternate on the Hardwick Planning Commission for the remainder of the three year term expiring June 30th, 2026. So moved. Um, second. Second. Yeah. 
Well, we can discuss it. Yeah, and thank you for your letter of interest. Okay. Um, people have any yeah, questions for Jill? No. no. Two minutes ago, planning commission meeting already. Oh, wow. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and you still want to be there. Yeah, yeah. that's good. It, good stuff. Thank you so much for um, for coming forward and for doing uh, that. Thank you for coming in tonight. And for coming tonight, yeah. So all in favor of coming to in the Planning Commission as a alternate, right? Yes. Uh, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah. Appreciate it. And thanks for uh, being willing to serve the Planning Commission. Next is item five, select board to consider a cannabis license renewal for Root to Vitality Cannabis LLC. Um, so, hi, are you, are you Root to Vitality? Yes, my wife and I, yeah. Excellent. Um, and we saw your application was in our packet. Sounds like you've been there, but the state didn't see fit to send it to us or something. I don't know, I was confused by that. I was too. I, I, uh, I, the renewal process is sort of complicated for us too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, we I guess see, it, we it could be my it. fault that I didn't reach out to you guys at the same time. I don't know. No, as I did. supposed to send it. They Chris, were, Kristen's got her hand so, up. So um, the Hoppies went through the DRV process did everything they were supposed to, and it went back to the state. The state did not, the can Cannabis Control Board did not realize that East Hardwick was part of Hardwick. Right. And so oh, when everybody they, needs to learn sometime. Well, so <laughs> when they <laughs> gave their license, they Thank looked you. through the list and saw that Hardwick had a local control board, but East Hardwick did not, and they issued the permit, right. last, the license last year without bringing That's it. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Well, we, we came last year. You yeah. came to our board. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that's why you have the DRB decision in there. Right. And oh, the DRB. Yes. And so. So um, they, rather than disrupt their business, they waited until the. Yeah. Uh, Another renewal. example of the state not firing and also under. <laughs> so, so just so you know, uh, the role of us as a cannabis control board are really the only reason I think that we could deny a license would be if you violated your zoning conditions and um, and or had a complaint that they no complaints have been received yeah 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 I was gonna say yeah yeah but that's another yeah oh or there's a complaint yeah but yeah but since you have your state permit and since you're compliance with your zoning permit so I can let's uh, a motion to uh, Approve the cannabis license renewal for Root to Vitality Cannabis LLC. Second. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, of course. Appreciate yeah. it. Do you guys have any questions for me or anything? No. Do you have any damage in the flood? Uh, our, thankfully, our house was okay. Um, we, maybe I'll email. Yeah, it's gonna you later, but uh, our access to our property, you know, the Lamoille is one border, the rail trail, and then I forget the name of the creek. Um, our crossing held, but we weren't able to get out until a little over 24 hours after. Yep. Um, a lot of property damage, but nothing to the structure itself. Yep. Um, other people have it way, way worse, so we, I guess if there's a some info on some funding that's available would be appreciated to fill okay. it out and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, other than that, we're, we're good. Good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Next up is item six. Select board to consider accepting one of the two proposals received for the Emergency Watershed Protection Program project and authorize a town manager to sign a contract. So this is for... Weren't the prices quite a bit different, aren't they? They were yes. quite a bit different. Yeah. With the scope, I didn't dig into the and look the proposals. But so, so we have 45,000 of technical assistance funds. Mm -hmm. um, and the two other projects were taken on by the NRCS. Mm -hmm. to, so that, those are covered. So we have 45,000 to do the one project. And New England... The New England consulting engineers 
meets the requirements. They've been, uh, both of these proposals have been sent to NRCS for review, and they're just waiting for us to make a choice. So we'll go with the, the one we can afford. Right, the lower cost. Yeah. yeah. One. Well, they look the same he, when the grant is through. This is the second time MSK put in. They were the only ones that put in before. And um, Mike, uh, Michael LaPointe from NRCS was, he took it and then sent it back and said, it, well, if you decide to, he, I think he stayed out of his, having his opinions, but he says, if we go with the MSK, we have to cover the cost. The, the cost has to be covered by the difference. The difference has to be covered by um, the landowner and or the sponsor. So I think that New England consulting engineers can do the work. I think they're yeah. more than capable. And I, think I make a motion that we go. Their price is more reasonable. We go with uh, New England, what is it? New England consulting engineers. Yes. Yeah. For a price of, can you read out the price? Uh, 30, it's 35. It's way in the back. Yeah. Twenty six eight. Yeah, I thought it was twenty six thousand eight hundred. Yeah. For yeah. All right. So you made the motion. Yes, please. Do we have a second. Second. And just for clarity for anybody who may be following along, so this project, yes. as it wasn't entirely clear to me, I had interaction with Opie today. Yeah. So it's in the village of East Hardwick, just downstream of the bridge, the Main Street Bridge. Yes. And uh, it's the property known as a river house. Correct. Yeah. And we we um, we requested NRCS assistance for the emergency watershed protection program. Right. And this is all federal funds, federally funded, and we are the sponsor to the project for three properties. And can you remind me of the other two properties because I just can't remember. Um, where they are. One is on Route 15 off the Haynesville Brook. Okay, so that's heading towards Walden. Yep. Yep. And the other one is the property right next to uh, it's the old old building supply, part of building supply, Jerome building Jerome supply. Building supply. Next to <coughs> for um, the Valley Marshall Motors. I don't know. I'm, I go. He's way back. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. right, right. No, I'm with you now. Yep. The, the, I, the, the, I was in the mall. What's his name? Uber, the quick yeah, yeah. No, yeah. What's his name? Lives there now. Yeah, yeah. Our, our energy coordinator. Okay. All right. So, the, so with this, then we'll get all, mm. all three of them will be going. Yep. And, and where's where's this sponsors? We we're not kicking in no money. We're just we the uh, entity that the federal money's uh, run through. We it's reimbursement. Yeah. Reimbursement based. But we pay or the no 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 nope. we don't pay. Um. No, no. Homeowner, they I don't, don't know it. about. I think it. I don't know about the if it's reimbursement or they. Because <clears throat> they, they came, you know, when they came here, I don't know. I was clear that we weren't putting down money into private. We property. Oh, but it's getting okay. NRCS is picking it up. All right. Yeah. Pick mm -hmm. it up. Put it right back in our pockets. Okay, that's that's fair. They can use it. They can use it a little bit. They just can't have it. No. <laughs> Borrow it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll help you out, but because yeah. otherwise I got some stuff I need done. So, <laughs> so is there a motion on the table? There's a motion on the table a and a second. A second. So all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So we're going to go with um, the New England, New England consulting, consulting engineers. engineers. Great. Not New England Municipal Consultant. I know, that's what I want to say. say. Yeah. yeah. I do it too. Yeah. This trips me up. Um, very good. I am six. Uh, yeah, or seven. Is now seven. Well, seven. <laughs> Select board to consider spending the town real estate proceeds of the sale of Cary Road when that sale closes on blasting and operation of the town gravel pit. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah. Sounds like a great idea to me. Any money from the Main Street property? That's right. That'll it's be a long time easy. coming. Yeah. I mean, they're, 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 they're still on that, right? It's just that you have to have it. Yeah, all they have to go through. Right. Their funding is... Tied uh, to... Yeah, I know how it works. What do you yeah. call it? Is it's got to be shovel ready. 
It's got to be everything's got to be in place. Right. Yeah. So they need to do it. Yeah. All the finance and all of them, it's got to be 100% right. So it won't be a long, long time. No, but it's. And it won't be this year. Right. Back, back to the point, I made a motion to spend the real estate proceeds of the sale of the carrier when it happens when the blasting uh, and operation of the town gravel pit. We have a motion. Second. So, more discussion. I do want to know roughly, I mean, I think that's a great use of the funds. I want to know roughly what we're anticipating for cost up there. All of it. I mean, I mean, I think we can study that and more. That's why I'm right. wondering what our plan so, is for right yeah. now. So, there's no, he's gone. So, I've been working really hard to help Opie do some of this. Mm -hmm. this and, um, Accurate record keeping is going to be key to the resource. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, he, he probably knows exact figures, but I'm sure. So we got, we have the opportunity to provide our own material. Money is going to be the thing holding us back. Right. I don't know how much the crushing costs. I was just wondering, so we just voted to do it. go ahead and use that proceeds okay. from the sale to do that, but I was just wondering, What's the what's that going to be? General us? budget, yeah. What, what's do you have a, do, a did, what's the price on the blasting? What's that? Uh, five five ninety five a cubic foot. And how much do they plan on blasting? Uh, about six thousand cubic, five to six thousand cubic feet. So it's that thirty grand. Uh, close. Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. And then, and then so we price have price. money already. Uh, in our budget for crushing for crushing of the bank run ground. We have sixty thousand. Right. Yeah. So and that must be about the same price. What's the crushing cost over there? I haven't got crushing costs on ledge. So well, even on that gravel, what's our gravel? We got sixty thousand for our gravel. We usually I think it's gotta be pretty close to six. So. I don't know if we got it. It's been going. I'm not prepared. Well, I'm well, not prepared with, with no, no. the actual number. And I was going to but, start doing some ciphering on that. Okay, but just in general, yep. the, the pro, so the timing is probably going to be such that that property sale is probably going to close uh -huh. in the coming month or two, yep. right? Yep. Yep. And then, um, and meanwhile, we're incurring some costs for blasting, yep. and then we hope some crushing. And that. prepping. Prepping for blasting, drilling, yep. and then blasting. Drilling and blasting is five minutes. Right. So now that so we've got a little bit of prep work too, yep. and consulting. Yep. yep. And so for this fiscal year that we in, that we're in, yep. the proceeds from that property sale will kind of cover the yes. additional expense. It then? should easily. Yes, cover. easily cover. How much is that but, first part from the drilling and blasting is one, but then the prep and consulting is uh, um, five thousand. Okay. Well, it's more, a little more than that. 8,000. 8,000. Right. So we're looking at 40 yeah. to 50,000. Yeah. Max. Yeah. And, then, and then that's all the material, though. I mean, the other way, the other thing to keep in mind is all that material that we're getting is material that we would have purchased somewhere else. Correct. And truck. Right. Including the material that we've been using for the last month, the bank run gravel. And we've already started utilizing yeah. that. Yeah. And what? Out of it. So, what? My strategy is, is we want to use as much product out of that pit because we can we can get reimbursed for it with our FEMA projects. Right, if we're using our own yes. stuff for our yes. FEMA projects. Like basically everything we've used so this month, this last month, yes. is FEMA. It's going to be, right. FEMA's FEMA going to pay us for that. If, if there's a declaration. And that was, if there was, was. but I, I believe there will have to be because of the damage. Right. But I mean that that it's that material it's, it's gotta be yeah. five, six hundred yards already that they've taken out of there. That material only costs a few hours of my time in equipment rental. So we've got maybe twenty five hundred dollars in it at the most. Just yeah, it's, it's you know, versus ten fifty a yard, which is hundred and yeah, plus more $65 trucking. a load, plus more trucking, right? Substantially less trucking. 
So it's a no brainer. I also am very curious, and I know you, nobody knows the answer to this, but I'm very curious I to might. see what kind of crushed ledge project would product like a state map product we might be able it's to It's going to be an excellent. So that's yeah. something that we're going excellent. to try to get the crusher right. to crush some of the ledge. So now the ledge will be blasted, right. drilled and blasted. Right. They don't have to be sorted. Yeah. And then it has to be crushed. Right. So and then even after crushing, like in most pits, they crush and then there's sorting right after. Right, but that's part of the crushing. That's right. that's the crushing. So then crushing then screen with different different products. Yeah. We need we need and we need like a three quarter inch, yes. Yeah. But uh, ditch stone. Yeah. We need that. And three quarter inch stay mat yeah. are the two things that that would be that, great that we need on a pretty much daily basis. I mean, so they go to Danville. They go to Danville a lot. You're optimistic we'll be able to make those things. Oh, That's absolutely. Great. I'm quite confident we're going to have a good product and too. That, because it's great. And that I-250 right. amendment is not has been submitted yet, but it's in the works. It's drafted. It's and the fact that we'll have a fully functional operation. I'm calling them tomorrow. I'm going to call Act 250 tomorrow and give Chris and Solomon an update on the, what we've been doing. Yeah. Just to play nice. Yeah, good idea. Um, that's great. And um, that is, to me, that's really excellent news because the places we've been able to use um, crushed lead products on our roads, the roads seem to hold up better, yeah. the right. surface is better. And our bank run gravel will work good this year too because we have a lot of spots where we need to build up road and it'll yes. work fine for that. Because yeah. it works fine. And, and so we but had all the tailings road. left over from the previous sand separation operation. So that's just stone. Yeah. So I mixed it. I basically built the dirt. Got another. So um, we did a grant aid project on Stage House Road. So yeah. that's all reimbursable. And we used some of our material on that road. That's the grant aid program that we've been doing for several years. Yes. Because I probably connected some months. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Better ditching, better yep. culverts, et cetera. Correct. Yep. Great. Well, that's all. That's all great. That's all great news. That's good news. Yeah. Did we actually vote on that. We were yeah, we in did discussion. You? We're in discussion. I le I got up and came back. And we said we just vote. voted on. Did it. Did we vote on that? I think Danny made a motion. Yeah. I seconded that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I discussion. I've also rebuilt the road so we have into the place. Great. And and get um all the water is <laughs> under control under management at this point, as well. So, so it's a great asset for us. It's, it, it is an extremely good asset, yes. It's very, very, very nice. Excellent. If you're so, into dirt, it's a really cool place. <laughs> so, all right, so hearing that we have not actually called the vote, or I have not called the vote, let's yeah. uh, all in favor of uh, go ahead and spending the real estate proceeds on the gravel pit, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And thank you guys for your work on that. Next, item 8, select board to set a date for a public hearing about VCDP <coughs> grant that RP life sharing is applying for. Ah, <laughs> see that? Uh, they weren't just know. stopping by to visit. I knew they <laughs> were. They were. You're doing a good job, though. I got to give you credit. You know how to get shit done. So, let me just practice this. Um, so, we, we have to be, we set up, we have access to peers which is the portal in which they apply for the grants. We have to set them up under our um, login, um, which we've done in the past with other ECDP grants, and then they will do all the applications. And, but this is a required other grant application, the public hearing. Okay. And the dates that we're requesting are Tuesday, September 10th, Wednesday, September 11th, or Thursday, September 12th. Which is the, the total deadline for the grant? Yeah, we need that. Um, yeah there's another hearing that you're having on one of your other regular. I'm pretty sure that I don't think happen. we can have the eleventh is my anniversary. We can't have. You remember, it's not the twenty second. We can't have a public hearing on two different things at the same time. I don't think. Right. So that's why we have to have an exceptional date. Yeah. We can have two public hearings, one right back to back. We can. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. One, close it, go to the next. Okay. One. Oh, I need multi times. You told me we couldn't do that. Maybe so the town. We already have something. We already have something. For the fifth. The fifth. Okay. The so I'm confused about why. So who's the applicant for the grant? Heartbeat. 
It has to go through the town, but we are the we are the, uh, yeah. the beneficiary, the, the eventual beneficiary. The grantee. I'm not sure what you, who. It's like the housing partnerships. Ooh, that's bad. Don't. No, so the so the other way. town is the fiscal agent essentially. So what's the amount of the grant you're seeking? It's a hundred and twelve thousand and one hundred and two. And one hundred and two. No, yeah, one hundred and twelve thousand one hundred and two dollars. Oh, one hundred and two. To okay. do what? And well, we're we're already building the house. Oh, for um, another, another place. And it's and we're not seeking this for for capital. We're seeking this for operational. So to get to to hire the staff to yeah. um, you know. So to, to I come down through there the other day, down the class for a road. It needs to the gravel, gravel doesn't it? <laughs> well, I'm I'm telling you, I was quite impressed that it's still in as good a shape as it is with no maintenance. And I question, yeah, I'm I'm a save the class for a road guy, but I think that one should. Take very little bit of maintenance and leave it right alone. Um, it was in much better shape than I thought. It's handled the rig range really well. Yeah. Um, that I'm big impressed. ditch down right by the river driveway or your road there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that. The last two floods, that's how I was able to get home. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if we want to. I, that was sure. my gut feeling. And I'm the dirt guy. Is like, boy, this, we should just leave this right alone. Because <laughs> it's still oh. passable. But given. Once I got down through there, then I, it's been quite a while since I've been down through there. There's several new structures since I've been down through there. It's been years, so, um, so I was I, I was quite impressed. It looked like a fully, very functional little community. And, um, We've I done mean, a little grading on the lower level. Yeah, but it was, uh, you know, it looks, it's, other than the hill to get there, it's a perfect spot for you. <laughs> beautiful, and because of the hill, we don't. We don't often get flood damage. Yes. Yep. Our fields sometimes get hit. One or two of our culverts do. Yep. But so I'm just thinking about some practical concerns. So if we're so it's, those VCD grants are typically um, reimbursable, right? They're not money up front. You spend it and submit for reimbursement. That's right. I think that's right. But they're not spending our money. They're spending no. their money. Yeah. Okay, and um, it doesn't sound, I, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like an amount that's low enough that's not going to trigger a single audit, which is another expense for the town. When we have grant funds in excess of... Are they federal? Oh, ACD. maybe that's just federal. Yeah, this is through ACCD. Right, 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 state. Yeah. So it wouldn't trigger a single audit anyway. No. Okay. And we've been working for Nathan Cleveland. He said that any yeah. expense that the town incurs would would be reimbursable we'll through this. So, so like for, for sending out the notice, for example. Right, the administrative costs. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so we could have a public I move, or, or we got to move? Or so the only, the only question I can't answer right now, because um, Tracy had said that we couldn't have two hearings on the same date, is what the space between the notice and the hearing has to be. You don't know that, do you, Dave? The what? The notice. We have to put out a, a, a public notice. notice. 15 days. We can, yeah, because we can have two different yeah. hearings the same day. But I think she may have meant you can't do your, maybe you have to have two hearings or something. No, you just have to have one. Doesn't matter, let's pick a day. And let's we've got 15 days. If it's on the 5th, we still have the 15 days. Pick a day, Sherry. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the 5th is good if we're already here. I think it's perfect. The first public hearing starts at 5, though. What is the first one about? Bylaws. 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 Yeah. So let's start this one at 5.45. Okay. Yeah, this one. Do you think we're going to have a 15 minute meeting about the bylaw modernization? 45. 45. Oh, 45. Oh, 45. And if we start there, it's a little late, we do. There, theirs isn't going to take very long. So we already have, I mean, it's Oh, that starts at 5. Okay, sorry. Yeah. 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 This is so, going to be 5.45 on September 5th? Yes. There's a little bit of a gamble there that will push into our select board meeting at 6, but I think I'd it's... be willing to bet $100 with you right now, I won't. Well, that's why I'm suggesting it. <laughs> you want to bet? You can't I bet. Not you can't bet. I cannot bet. Bet. bet in a public meeting. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. After, after where gambling is illegal. Is it? Rules supporting no Man, drinking and gambling is illegal. All right. No, I didn't 
So okay, so we'll just we'll set it for we'll set it for the fifth. Five forty-five on the fifth. Five forty-five on the fifth. Thank you so much. Yep. Got it. We're on it. Great. I'll talk to Tracy. Uh, yeah. Next, where are we? We're at the end, right? That's yeah, the, we're at the end. board reports. We're at dinner time. Tonight's the last uh, Chamber Players concert at the Already? Yep. Yeah, summer's That's over. What happens. Oh my God. Um, and so they'll, uh, and supposedly the construction crew is going to be back early next week. Oh, nice. We haven't gotten confirmation on that yet, but. There we go. That's the hope. Uh, that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Any other reports? I feel like I was going to report something that's gone now. Any new business? Nothing about the LBRT or... LBRT, yeah, so um, is open. LBRT is open again heading towards Wolta. All the way... I actually, I think all the way from here to Swanton is open. Yes, I think it is. I heard yeah. that. Um, traveled it. Yeah, and we still have a little. Uh, there's still a. Uh, Thank you. Good night. Again. There's still a small detour in East Hardwick or the Bend, right, where they have that big dig, and then the St. John's Ferry and the thing is okay. closed, apparently. Yeah. From St. John's Ferry to Angle. But yeah, so. By the looks of the pile, there it is, not that close. But we got a detour. There must be a big hole over there. Where? The St. John's Ferry? Yeah. What's the end of I There's a pile of the sand in that, that little quarry right there that they've lugged out of that real trail. It is oh. five, three, four, five thousand yards. It's really where is it? Just past the parking ride. Oh, oh, oh I heard left about in that, that little quarry. Yeah, I heard about that. I mean, it's as big as I've ever seen a pile of dirt. Tatro's over there, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. So there's got to be a big hole up there somewhere because that's material they took out. So there must wow. start, like in East Harbor, trying to get to the bottom to fix. <laughs> Because the bottom's way down there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which, so Ben was a trail guy for 20 years, but in, we have a lot of need right now, and priority shouldn't have been a goddamn car trail, but it was. Oh. Yeah. Same, yeah. I think. The direction that we have to them. I don't know. Okay. Who? New business. New business. I have old business. Old business. I got old business too. Oh. I have business. Casey wanted one to two select board members oh. to volunteer for the water and sewer revenue rates. Yay. Oh, that'd be to ten. Discuss them in late August and, and seven Caleb. in September. Mm -hmm. That'd be who? Tim and Caleb. What was it again? Caleb, because he's not here, Tim, because he's a new guy. <laughs> First ad hoc committee. Are, are you um, interested in that or no? Um, say it again with the dates. That's, that's we, we have to set the dates, yeah. Okay. But it's so it's looking at water and sewer rates, which we do every year, and we set we need to set the rates to meet the budget, which we want, which has already been set. Um, and it's a whole separate enterprise fund, so it has its own budget, and then the ratepayers pay the rates to meet the budget. The last couple of years, the well, last year anyway, we haven't really. The last made. couple of years, we let Eric do it, and they've gone up. So we'd like some new blood in there. <laughs> 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 no, that was no. it's not it's that. Bad. I've done it for several years. Yeah. yeah. I was just kidding, by the way. I'm, Tim doesn't. I, I mean, I, I hear that. I'm, I'm an adult, Danny. Yeah. What's the obligation to it? What, what, just do probably. Do it's probably in the best scenario. It's probably it's it's some last year was a one hour long meeting. I think one meeting. I think it was one. Yeah. Last year. I mean, you can only do so much. You can only do so much with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, there's yeah. not that much flex in it. You got to You got to cover. It's good practice for it. It's worth studying it beforehand. Yeah. And right. it. You'd understand it how it works. That's that was my. That's the only reason I ever do anything is because I want to figure out how it works. It's not because I enjoy it. <laughs> well, then you should join too. There I've go. been on that committee. I'll do it. I'm a not scared. As long as I can call in on my phone and my truck. <laughs> no, that no. Be too well. We need in person. 
What's it pay? Because you've $1, done. Thousand dollars a year. You have done. Used your thousand dollars up. I'm like Tommy. Budget done till the end of the year. <laughs> till my new fiscal year. You guys have gotten all out of me. You can. Okay, so you bleed me dry. Are we want I, I don't know about Kaylee because I because no, I, I not volunteer Kaylee. So when are we going to meet? Late August. At what time of day? The I, worst time. Of I got to work, so I don't want to commit. Between seven thirty and three thirty. I don't want to commit to something I can't do. That's all. You know I'm a doer, not a. Well, we could. Sure. I if, can do if it. you wanted to, we could do like a a seven thirty to eight thirty meeting. Okay, you set up. I'll be there. No matter what. I could do a thir Thursday morning. Later well, lunch. I mean, I yeah. So I can morning. do two, Danny. We could do mornings. I have more flexibility. It's really uh, right now. is a really bad time for me. So okay. I'll do it with him. A Thursday, okay. Friday morning would probably be. Thank possible. you guys for I continuing your civic duty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do Thursday Friday for free today. I missed my cardiologist meeting last week. Come on. Um, right That's more important than this shit. Thursday is preferable to Friday. I'll let you know. But I to predict. That was close. That was close. All right. So she'll reach out and say something. Yes. Sounds good. I was supposed to bring her, bring that up. Okay. Uh, Sherry, your old business. My old business is last meeting. We talked about the AARP report for pedestrian safety yep. on South Main Street. We, I, I felt like we reached a consensus that we were going to um, have that walkway painted. You know, from on South Main Street that. We mm -hmm. talked about. Um, did you? Is there any more developments with that? I don't remember the consensus. Or uh, yeah, the consensus that was the minimum that could be done. And Th that would be so, a start. So I think that we we just put a bunch of stuff back together, uh, roads and and infrastructure, some infrastructure. So I think that we could probably put this on our to do list and get this done. Um, it would be nice to get this done before school starts. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think that's pretty tight, but yeah. I but think I it would also help. Um, Does that sound a state? You, can't, you just call L and and I'm running the truck down through there. About yeah. 10 seconds, be done. Yeah. Hang on, take you guys a minute. I think it would help Kristen with her work with the fire marshal. Right. And, that right. Whole, and the parking problems that happen there if there's a big the fire marshal? thing that they're parking on top of. Um, yeah. You know, it, the cars are parked too close to some of the houses. Oh, They're God. Not. Trust me. Oh, in the no parking? parking? Yeah, in no parking. Well, that's only parking. because they're in the road. That's why they're too close to the house, because the other half's in the road. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to yes. make sure we were actually going to move forward with that. Yeah. It, it wasn't really reflected in the minutes no. thoroughly, so I just wanted to back up and... I agree with so your consensus. What we decided was that the... The crosswalk, as proposed, wasn't going to be we practical. We weren't going to do the crosswalk because it be was, didn't work. And of the so, ADA but then we could run that painted So lane. there was a very... Walking lane. And the pavement is wide enough all the way through there. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like so, we measured it on our... Yeah. I almost shared it with you guys. There was a very interesting article um, about the town of St. Johnsbury, uh, St. Albans. Put in a new sidewalk that took several years, and they used uh, some money from. They had a hundred, they hundred seventy thousand dollars from the uh, sale, local sales tax option thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, started the project and it ended up getting four hundred in it. Um, it's just it was a very interesting story because it was new new sidewalk bill that took you know ten years to. To get it done, and it costs three times as much as it was supposed to, and um, it was just an interesting story. They had basically the same problem we have, and it was yeah. actually, it would be like, like that sidewalk, and a lot of people were upset because they used essentially sales tax money from the, you know, the village or the city, and this is on the out. This is downtown. this. Yeah, designated downtown, and this was from the designated downtown out. Mm -hmm. But it was to get people in, in their right? Yeah, but you know, some people had. Yeah, this is all know, our designated well, downtown. But you know how. Option tax, you can. I mean, they use that much. 
much there. Yeah. But then they still have the local option tax in there. Right. But it was it was just it they was paid for their new cam garage with the local option tax. It was one of those. Them. There was one of those stories. It's like yeah, well we are you know we're not the only ones having exactly the same problem and in many ways and from the design to the to the implementation to the cost yeah. all the same problems everybody's having yeah. yeah so that'd be great okay so we're still pushing forward with that yeah great that's something we're going to contract the painting out we're not going to yeah. get those guys yeah. out there with a brush right yeah. good no. wait, wait, wait. we're contracting it out well that's the not an easy job it's not nothing they're going to do the with a roller and potentially La does, yes. does, does Lafayette? Yeah, no. They L and D. There's uh, there's several guys, and they right around them trucks. They'll spray that. Ten minutes, it'll be done. It'll take longer for somebody to lay it out, which I don't know about state highway. You should probably check. That's in our. We can do anything we want. It's we measured it all out when we did that whole. Yep. Thing. Fine. It's all. Yep. It's so somebody will have to lay it out. They'll come through with a truck and go. And it'll be over with. I mean, you could do it with a roller, and but if it's, that's no, I'm just thinking, four guys up for if three days. If it's over five thousand dollars or something, we should put it out to bid, and then it needs to come back to us for about. I it's, think you should call L and D and say, "I need this done." And when they come through in the quiet of six o'clock in the morning, everybody wake up, and there'll be a white line right down through there. I wish, I wish life was that easy. I'm with the edit. Want me to get it done? Me too. Yeah. Are we blasting Monday? We're drilling, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Don't doubt the power. Huh? I don't doubt my power. Oh. I'm staying on you guys. Oh. All right. Well, okay. Well, It'll be done. Go up to the pit. Check it out. Um, what is... Okay, so our next meeting is... The fifth, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's the whole business. Go ahead. So you guys asked me to come up with a plan of like how more personnel would help in the office. Right. Mm -hmm. And we really need some project management. Um, we were talking about um, project management. <coughs> For the staff, right. which we're still going to do, it's going to be grant funded. Mm -hmm. But I really think that would help. And or we move. I've just been thinking about different scenarios, mm -hmm. and or we move myself into a more project manager role, and then we do something else for like because I have. I'm not able to like spend a lot of time in front of my computer and send emails and I get 50, 75, 100 emails a day. I don't think I've sent a dozen emails this week just because people come in the office, because I'm pulled away from the office for things. So I don't know. So. The project management is the time suck for me. <coughs> And getting so you need some you need a you need you need an assistant that you can delegate some things to because you still need the oversight we're not because we're not hiring a new you know somebody that's going to be in charge of anything no you just need somebody to do some of these project management tasks in conjunction with you not necessarily right out on their own yeah. so you What's need a, you need a position you think or is uh, it See, that's the, the part-time position, potentially, but the part-time position is like, you know, Tracy has to cram a lot of stuff, stuff into three days. <coughs> and I have a feeling it's leaking into Monday and Friday. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's she's not fair to her. No. no and it's, not it's hard to do the job that you want to do with a Tuesday through Thursday schedule. Like, I see the, her frustration. With so you're saying, you, so you're saying well, yeah. the project, yeah. project manager part time, there would be a similar situation. Yeah. So you're asking for a full time project manager. Well, I think that if I were to somehow figure out a way yeah, to delegate. to get more of my stuff, more of my administrative stuff. So if you had an administrative assistant, something along those lines. 
<coughs> that's a different thing. Than I know. I know. I think that's a that's better. That's what I'm saying. Like I move into the so project. Is that easier role. to hire too? I think that's more in line what I'm thinking is you need somebody to do tasks for you, whatever, whatever they may be. What would you rather do? I'd rather be out on. Well, you need to be because you're still the guy doing things. You're you're in that no matter what because you that's right. You can't get you're not going to be able to get away from that. You, right. You know, if you hire a project manager, yeah. they're going to be expecting to and be it, the one in charge of the project. It's also like not, um, not <laughs> It's also like. Uh, I don't know, like making sure, like we're going to have some transitions in the next five years, mm -hmm. potentially, yeah, and then we're going to have, right, and then we're also, we're also going to have, hopefully have a large um, wastewater plant project mm -hmm. that needs a lot of attention. I've been through them, before. I've been through <coughs> one before, and you need to pay attention. And so, so what the next step would be to develop a job description so that we can post it, right? Yeah, and I think it should uh, be for a harder full time administrator. I think so. Yeah, um, I, I'm just I'm not pushing to do anything right now. I'm just no, you guys asked for thank you. For, to do no, this is this is what we need to do. We need yeah. to talk about it. <coughs> um, but in an ideal world, you're looking for a full time administrative assistant. <sighs> Ideal world. It could start as part time and then figure out that it has to be full time, just like Kristen. So, I guess, though, that it's the budget consideration. I lean on my office to do things that they're not responsible for sometimes. So. And they're happy to do it. Because so the job description of, I mean, we need to we need to start throwing the job description together of what would give you the most yeah, benefit. I'm chewing on it. Right. Yeah, so, so start jobs and those down. Not, it's not urgent, and we don't have budget for it. No, but we we got to. No, but we need to build it into the next. Budget. Right. Budget season is a month Around away. Right corner right now. And, and we, this is this is important. I mean, we're, uh, we're going to be in recovery mode for probably the next five, years. five to seven years. Yeah. At least. No, absolutely. But we're going to have people retiring. And we need to be well oiled in that process. Yeah. So we're already right. way more well oiled yes. than we were last year. Correct. Right. Yeah. But, but now, so maybe now is really a good time to, you know, kind of know how it's rolling. And maybe now is a really good time to think about. Right. What that position? What what new position could be most beneficial? Yeah, to avoid the, the burnout and to get the stuff done. Right, because it does seem like I mean I am struck every time I come in there how the whole office focus has shifted to all these recovery things. Right. You know, it's rebuilding bridges and roads, and how are we helping our well? It hasn't let up since COVID. That, no, that, that disrupted everything yeah. in their office, and it just we haven't had a chance, an opportunity to get close to back to normal. Right, but I. Ever but, since then, but, so it's been four or five years, five years now. But they, these were all full time jobs previous. Previous. Except for Kristen. did none of the, what they're doing today. Except for Kristen. Except for Kristen, who was yeah. only. And Tracy. And Tracy. Yeah, but, yeah, but we've had that position for quite a while. Yeah. But, you know, you're, I mean, you and Casey and Amanda, those positions have yeah. long existed yeah. and I think, without this extra workload. And I think that we also need to look at um, some of our other positions in town and how those, how they interact with, with town stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the rec coordinator. Mm -hmm. um, moving that into a more of a hands-on <laughs> summer position where... Or, uh, or the LBRT committee gets put into the rec committee. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's a paid position, to be honest with you. It, well, it was a paid position when, what's her name, was back when Reach was involved and they were told, yeah. and, and what's her name was, worked for Reach and worked for that part time, and she was doing a hell of a job. Suzanne no. Dan. That's where it went bad, right there. So, so all anyway. stuff we need to start yeah. wrapping our head around yeah, yeah, before yeah. budget season. Yep. To wrap my lips around a little corn cobs, so let's uh, wrap it up. <laughs>
<laughs> Tis the season. For the pro. On that note, I guess I'm at home. I'm ready. I think uh, we did good. We're just over an hour. Yeah, no, we did excellent. Yeah. Uh, just one. Okay, so I just have one uh, uh, thing before we adjourn. Just a public service oh, good. notice that <laughs> coming to you from the yellow barn, that <laughs> there are people down there seeking employees. If anybody's looking yeah. for a job. Yeah. Are they going to put a sign on the on the coming into Hardwick side that has some of the Black Dirt habit? Farm is also looking for employees. See. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of there are a lot of folks locally looking for employees. And there's no one I know that isn't looking for employees. Okay. Any, all right. All right. Any Fair business? Enough. Not calling all potential employees. So uh, as far as signage, yeah. I don't know about that other end. I know that tell where they are. the OP suggested a, um, that the window should have a graphic of the back of the cows like they used to be in the barn. Yeah. And Erica's like, great. And so she's getting, she's going to do that. I don't know about the cows. OP, you're something. I know. Anyway, full of good ideas. That's all I know. You're full of something, all right. It's only coming from the other side. Uh, did you, can I make there a motion to adjourn? No, but I'll adjourn. <laughs>